Welcome back to the Wizard Shop, and what in the world do shoes have to do with Thunderbirds? Let's find out. So this is another Euro-Asian Bob special. What did you say? Euro-Asian, as in European and Asian cars. The guy used to sell salvage parts for European and Asian cars. It has nothing to do with urinating, I promise. This one's going to be for sale. We'll talk about the price as soon as we get towards the end. If you guys are interested in buying this really sweet car, contact EuroAsian Bob at EuroAsian Auto Inc. There's a website link in the description below. But back to the car. This is a 1984 Ford Thunderbird mixed with shoes. Somehow they mixed shoes in, in, in the mix. I'm not sure how they did that. But it's a really sweet Fila edition. You guys have heard of shoes made by Fila? This is a Fila edition Ford Thunderbird. Let's go ahead and open the hood and look what's underneath. So this is your typical 5 liter EFI V8, 140 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque. It is not a hot rod, it's not going to win any races, but it's pretty powerful. It, it runs really well. The engine's in very good shape. Everything is very clean, almost like the showroom. Almost. You can see some of the paint has flaked on the air cleaner. There's a little bit of rust from age, there's not much you can do about that. but it runs very well, drives very well. Came in for a power steering noise, ended up just being the belt. We put a new belt on and the squeaking noise is completely gone. We've checked everything over. It runs perfect. The AC works, the heater works. Really, it doesn't need anything as far as the engine's concerned. Let's go ahead and take a walk around the car and check it out. So it's a typical Ford Thunderbird front end with the square headlights. But this has a two-tone setup specifically for this Fila edition. It's white with what's called pastel charcoal down below, a gray color. And the pinstriping that's on this car will also correlate with the colors, as you see here denoted with the Fila emblem, being that it's a Fila edition. And we move on down this side. It is in very good shape, guys. It literally is, it just came off the showroom. It has the original 14 inch wheels on it even. It's shiny, it's very nice. I don't even want to touch it, it's so nice. As we go back to the back, we see the same pinstriping that goes all the way around the car. It also has the Fila emblem there. No, they didn't get this symbol on eBay or Amazon. This is genuine 1984, this, this is actual true edition car. And this side is just as nice as the other side. We frequently look over cars and check for nicks and scratches. There really isn't any on this car. It's that nice. There weren't a lot of these made, being the Fila edition. 2,532 cars in the entire world. That's it. And here's one sitting here at Omega Auto Clinic. It's really cool. So being that there's only 2,532 ever made, how many are still left today, especially in this immaculate condition? I, I don't know, four or five hundred? I bet there's a lot of these sitting somewhere that are destroyed, the interior's gone, the engine shot. There could have been some that were wrecked, caught on fire, who knows what could have happened. Hurricanes. There's probably not 2532 left of these in the world anymore. Even for 1984, it has really cool features. It even has buttons, a key code security system on it, which is really sweet. And the dash and the instruments are really cool as well. So as you can see, it's a little under 49,000 miles on this one. And it is in very, very good shape. The dash is not cracked at all. It's very nice. I'm not going to touch it, but it is very nice. Here we see the little Fila edition again next to the Thunderbird emblem. In the center of dash, we have a trip meter, fuel economy, and fuel level. And then we have a normal 
HVAC controls and standard radio. It has premium sound. You, I guess you can turn the premium sound on and off. There's an antenna button. There's an alarm thing flashing there, probably because we have the doors open. There's your power seats and your power windows and the power mirror all in the center. The interior is really set up almost like shoes. If you look at the leather that's used on these seats, it's almost like they took leather right out of shoes, right off of shoes, I should say, and made seats out of them. It has the perforated leather in the center, a nice smooth leather on the sides, and the Fila emblem right on the seat. And there's something really cool about these seats. It's almost like Reebok pumps or something, even though this is Fila. Let's take a look. It has this little pump here that you can do, I believe it would be lumbar support. And you pump it up. And if you don't want the pressure there, you lead it off. And it just sticks right there when you're done with it. The driver's seat also has this feature. Wizard, these are really comfortable seats. Yeah, they're very comfortable. I've sat in them. And while we're looking up in this area, we, so as we can see, the headliner is in also very, very good shape. The rear shelf is also in very good shape and the seats again it looks like shoes guys very soft very comfortable very nice seats i wish they put these seats in other cars i really really like them this is a very interesting car the the Fila edition it doesn't add a whole lot it adds the seats and a few styling cues and things but i think it's really cool i think it's a really cool car let's go ahead and get this thing on the lift So let's see what it looks like underneath this car. See if there's leaks, any issues going on. Take a look at the radiator, the core support area. Dry as a bone. Nice new Motocraft belt. It has a new power steering belt now. Nothing leaking in that area. This hose is dry. Oil pan is dry. Steering rack is nice and dry. The boots feel dry inside, that's good. Oil filter, Motocraft oil filter, you can tell it's been serviced properly. Let's check these wheels out. The pads have about 50% life left on them. You can tell it's been greased and serviced by the grease that's there. Someone took care of this car. Sway bar links and bushings are good. Let's go over to here. Brake pads, 50%, nothing loose, and I'll check our sway bar, it's good. The shocks are not blown out with oil everywhere, they're in good shape. Move on back, there's a tiny seepage on the oil pan, it's really not enough to do a major teardown yet and pull the oil pan, but it's not dripping, it's just very, very slight seepage. Our transmission, leak-free, four-speed automatic. Exhaust looks in good shape. Here's our catalytic converters, still present from the factory. Exhaust is looking good. The muffler looks like it's been replaced at some point. You can see the weld here. It's got a brand new muffler on it. U-joints are good. A little bit of surface rust on the rear suspension, which is to be expected with something this age. It has drum brakes in the rear. The shocks are not blown out, which is good. This shock is also in good shape. There's our drum brake. It looks like it has a new exhaust tailpipe as well going back. So that's been replaced as well in the past. Here's our fuel tank, still nice and black colored, no rust. I really like it when you can see the original body putty or ceiling compound. It's not rusted out, it's like, except for surface rust, it's almost like new condition. 
No leaks to speak of other than the small seepage we saw by the oil pan, which really isn't worth addressing. Other than that, it's flawless underneath. Let's go ahead and get this thing on the ground. What? Oh no, I'm invading another wizard video. Another Poovy invasion. Yes. You came to film, but yet end up being filmed. Yes, Urination Bob's Fila Edition Thunderbird. Isn't it nice? It's really cool. Yes. It's very, very nice. I was going to tell actually the viewers, I saw one on Bring a Trailer that went for 10900 It didn't even have factory wheels. It had a lot of other issues. It had reupholstery done. It wasn't original. Right. The asking price on this one was 12999 if you want to buy this car, you're not going to get it for a broken PlayStation or trade in your dirt bike that's apart in boxes. And you're not going to get it for four grand. You're going to pay twelve nine 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 to pick up this really sweet Thunderbird, a Fila Thunderbird. It is very nice. It is Your very nice. Bob knows what he's doing with his with his hoopties. Yes. Yes, he definitely does. He lifted his leg on the right car this time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very very nice. So if you're curious what kind of tools we use to fix cars in the shop, check my Amazon affiliates link in the description below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. And check Eurasian Bob's link in the description below if you're interested in this car. I got two cameras going on here. Yes, uh, we're Inception now. Yes, we'll start my video. Okay. All right, bye. Thanks Wizard. for watching. Hello, Weezer. Hello, you're back again. Yes. So.